Hi, I'm Jeff Liddy, the window expert. I'm here with Jeremy Deverell. He's our chief production officer. We're in south part of Houston, League City actually, where we're doing some installations on a windstorm window. I've got a great video about that. You want to check that out. But today we're going to answer the question, address the question that Jeremy and I get all the time. People say, when I buy new windows, am I going to reuse my, what do they call it? Solar screens. Solar screens. Right? Solar screens. In fact, didn't your dad do solar screens for a long time? We did. He, yeah, yeah. Very long time. And do they work? So they do work. Yeah. They, they really they do really work. They really do work. Right. So today what we're going to do is we're going to show you with this heat lamp that we have. This creates a lot of heat. In fact, I'm going to show you in a minute just how hot it gets. And we're going to show you how well this works because it does work really well by testing the temperature on the inside with this digital thermometer. And then we're going to remove this and see how the window used to perform before our homeowner put this up. So you can see just how hot it used to get in here. Here's a new high energy efficient double pane window to show you whether or not it's possible that you would still need these solar screens because I don't think you will, but hey, it's all in the proof. It's all in the numbers. So let's get started, Jeremy. Why don't you turn on the heat lamp? I'm going to go inside and I'm going to check this out and just see how hot this is coming, how hot we're going to get coming through the window. Okay, you ready? Sounds good. All right, let's do it. Okay, so Jeremy's got the heat lamp on. I'm going to use this thermal gun. I'm going to come right up to the edge here so we can see exactly what it measures. Uh, it looks like 75.4, 70, yeah, 75.4 seems to be our number on that. Okay, now let's go ahead and take that solar screen off and let's see what it looks like. Okay, so Jeremy's got the solar screen off and we're gonna retest this again. Remember we were at 75 degrees last time and now we're gonna check it again. Well, I can actually feel the heat now coming through with my hand. Okay, we're at 86 degrees, 89 degrees, 91, 90 degrees, 92, 95, 96, 97. So somewhere around 100 degrees is what we can expect from this. Obviously the longer he has it on there, the more that you're gonna get. Sorry about all the background noise, we're on a construction site. Okay, Jeremy, that's good. Now let's go back outside and take a look. Okay, so we started out at 75 degrees with a solar screen. We took the solar screen off, it went to over 100 degrees, and if we kept it there long enough, it would have kept climbing and kept climbing. I thought that was pretty impressive. What do you think, that, what the solar screen did? Yeah, solar screen works well. Okay. What I don't like about it is just, first of all, how much light we're losing on the inside. I mean, you can tell by just if you stand inside and look, you can see where we have one off and one on. What a big difference there is between the amount of light coming through on each one. What do you think? Absolutely. I love the light coming in without the heat. Right. So if we could find a way to get this much light, right? Right. But still keep out the heat, which is what our goal is, and we're about to find out, then this is a thumbs up for everybody. Absolutely. Okay. Right. So why don't we do this, Jeremy? Why don't we go ahead now and take this Vistamark double pane... Uh, this is for a windstorm area window. They make them for non-windstorm, but Vistamark actually makes products for windstorm. And this is what's going to be required here because of its design pressure build and the quality that's made out of. Why don't we check the same thing we just did here because we had 101 degrees, right? Without the, the solar screen on a double pane window. Uh, then we went to 76 degrees, 75 degrees with the, with the screen on. Now see what this window will do when we do the same exact thing. Okay. And this is a double pane. So can you reach it there? Because I want the camera yes. to be able to see. Yes. Okay, so go ahead and turn that on. Give me some heat there. Okay, I got the window. Okay. Put it right dead center there like we did on the last one. Man, I don't feel anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. 74, 74, 74.8, 75, 75, 75.1, 75.3, 75.1. I mean, it's it's holding right there at 75.1. Even though that heat continues to build on that glass, it's not coming through. So there you go. 75, 74.8, it's even going down, 74.2. So here you are, 75 degrees on a double pane window with all this natural light coming in versus 75 degrees on a double pane window with solar screens. Which one do you think is better, Jeremy? <laughs> well, this one's a lot better. And plus when you got to that 101, it was climbing. We stopped less than 10 seconds into it. Oh, you're right. If we would have stayed there, it could have gotten much hotter. Right, you're right about that. Okay, well, thanks for watching this video. If you live in the Houston area, 
We'd love to talk to you about your windows. Check out HoustonWindowExperts.com. If you don't live in the Houston area, but you're looking for a great window company near you, I started a website with a list of great window companies. Check out JeffsList.com. Jeremy, thanks for all your help. Yeah, Appreciate you. it. Thanks for watching. Hope to talk to you again real soon.